we're asked to find the curvature and radius of curvature of y equals e raised to the power of two x at x equals negative one. The function is graphed in blue, and this red point is the point on the function when x equals negative one. Again, the goal is to find the curvature at this point and the radius of curvature. The curvature at a point measures how sharply the curve bends or how quickly it changes direction. The curvature of a line is zero. The curvature of a circle is equal to the reciprocal of the radius. When we find the curvature of a space curve given by a vector function, we use this formula here, but because in our case we have a function of x which gives us a plane curve, we can simplify this formula. If y equals f of x, then the curve can be parametrized using the vector function r of t, where the x component is t, the y component is f of t, and the z component is zero, and x prime of t is equal to one, x double prime of t is equal to zero. So then if we apply this formula using this vector function, the curvature formula simplifies to the absolute value of y double prime of x divided by the quantity one plus the square of y prime of x raised to the three halves power. Before we apply this though, let's look at an animation. The graph of our function is graphed in black. As we animate a point along the curve, we will see the circle of curvature. So as we approach this bend in the curve, the circle of curvature will get smaller. Notice as we approach the curve, we are beginning to see the blue circle, the circle of curvature, and now we can see the entire circle of curvature. As we pass the bend in the curve, the circle of curvature begins to enlarge again. And our goal is to find the curvature and radius of curvature at x equals negative one. Let's move to that point. Here's the point on our function where x equals negative one. Again, our goal is to find the curvature at this point and the radius of curvature, which are reciprocals of one another. So going back to our problem, let's find the curvature using this formula here when we have a function of x. So we're given that y is equal to e raised to the power of two x. We need to find y prime and y double prime. To find y prime, we must apply the chain rule. The derivative of e to the two x with respect to x is e to the two x times two, or two e to the two x. And y double prime of x is equal to two times e to the two x times two, or four e to the two x. And now we can find the curvature as a function of x which is equal to the absolute value of y double prime of x, which is the absolute value of four e to the two x, divided by the quantity one plus the square of y prime of x, which is the square of two e to the two x, and all this is raised to the three halves power. Well, four e to the two x is always positive, so we can drop the absolute value in the numerator. We have k of x equals four e to the two x divided by one plus, and we need to be careful when squaring here. We square the two which is four, and then when we square e to the two x, we multiply the exponents. Two x times two is four x, giving us four times e to the four x for the square of two e to the two x. This is still raised to the three halves power. Now that we have the formula for the curvature, we can determine the curvature at x equals negative one. Let's do this on the next slide. The curvature at x equals negative one is equal to four times e raised to the power of two times negative one divided by the quantity one plus four times e raised to the power of four times negative one raised to the three halves power, which is equal to four times e raised to the power of negative two divided by the quantity one plus four times e raised to the power of negative four raised to the three halves power. So this is the exact value of the curvature at x equals negative one. Let's also get our decimal approximation. Open parenthesis, four, second natural log brings up e raised to the power of negative two, right arrow, close parenthesis, divided by open parenthesis, one plus four, Second natural log brings up e raised to the power of negative four, right arrow, close parenthesis, raised to the power of three divided by two, and enter. 
The curvature is approximately 0 0.48687. So this is the first part of the question. Now we need to find the radius of curvature. And the relationship is that the curvature is equal to the reciprocal of the radius of curvature. So the curvature is equal to 1 over the radius of curvature, or the radius is equal to 1 over the curvature. So the radius of curvature at x equals negative 1 is equal to the reciprocal of this fraction here, which is the quantity 1 plus 4 times e raised to the power of negative 4 raised to the 3 halves divided by 4 times e raised to the power of negative 2. Let's also get our decimal approximation. On the calculator, what we can do is just press the x raised to the power of negative 1 key. This will take the reciprocal of the previous answer. And now if we press enter, we can see it's approximately 2.05394. So we have the exact and approximate values for the curvature k and the radius of curvature r. Before we go, let's go back to our graph. We now know the radius of the circle of curvature at x equals negative 1 is approximately 2.05, which means the curvature is approximately 0 0.49. I hope you found this helpful.